was a sworn oath and duty to faithfully execute the laws. Asking that question seems to me like he was fulfilling that part of his oath. Well, it's very concerning. One of the things that the Senate asked for are the suspicious activity reports that the Treasury Department collects from big banks uh, when bank employees see transactions that don't quite add up. And it sounds like there are some of these SARs, they're called, that were turned over to the Senate committee and the chairman. And so I'm, I'm, I'm going to be very interested in what those show. If, the, if transactions that Hunter Biden was involved in between the Ukraine and the United States banks uh, raised flags at those banks, uh, that could tip off some really concerning activity on behalf of Hunter. I've read and I put up on the screen here the Bribery Act, Foreign Corruptions Act, basically says if you entice any government official or any American that's using anything and battle you to entice a, an official action, um, I know for a fact that that would be a violation. Uh, when I look at the Bribery Act, it's a thing of value, if you cause an official action, do you see those statutes? You're a former acting attorney general. Do those do. statutes apply in your mind? The, the Foreign Corrupt Practices Act is a very strong act that is used to really uh, end corruption in other countries because the United States values clean and fair transactions and, and make sure that bribes aren't paid to foreign officials for official action. And those acts are very much in play here. And again, if Hunter Biden, uh, if these SARS show that he was involved in, in these types of transactions, I would fully expect not only the Senate to be interested in this, but also the Department of Justice. Well, I would think now, how is it though that when Adam Schiff talked about, we had new evidence, Sus Parvez, whatever his name is, whoever he is, um, the, the Parnas, he actually said, but Joe and Hunter are, you know, they're off the hook. If you're saying, I'm gonna leverage, I'm gonna shake down Ukraine, you're not getting a billion dollars unless you fire this guy, an official act, the prosecutor, that's investigating his zero experience, no words tell us, zero experience with Ukraine oil, gas, energy, son, who's paid millions and millions of dollars. A couple of questions here. Why would a vice president of the United States, you know, blackmail, is that the right word, or uh, encourage them to commit certain acts? I'd like to know, do you see anything wrong with, with that? And why would any company ever pay anybody with no experience millions of dollars? That doesn't make any sense, Matt. I'm just a simple guy. It does, Sean, it, it doesn't. And, and one of the things that even Adam Schiff has to admit is that the gas company in Ukraine was corrupt. And they hired Hunter Biden uh, for what reason? Because he was the son of the vice president. Everyone agrees to those facts. Even Hunter admitted that on national TV. And so, you know, if you have a corrupt company that is hiring the vice president's son uh, to help, and then that investigation into that corrupt company and this vice president's son's relationship with that company is